Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, there's Nathan here and uh, today I've come up with a very amazing problem on rotation. It's a rotation of massless rod and uh, guys liking, sharing, subscribing is love. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do that and share this with other people also. Guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together. My current courses uh, are, it is INPHO Foundation and for J8 once 2023. Currently we are doing circular motion and work power energy in this and there is another batch for, uh, emerge for uh, j 2023 in this we have uh, started kinematics and uh, final and uh, last phase of advanced problem solving of j advanced 2021 uh, this course will be starting from first week of august and uh, another one is advanced course for j 2022 it is going in uh, hindi already uh, we are doing uh, magnetism presently in this and uh, Another course uh, on fluid mechanics, it is advanced course on fluid mechanics will be starting from uh, first week of August. And guys, you can access my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your J preparation. You can unlock these courses on Unacademy using my code Nathan sir. And for more info, you can visit www.unacademy.com. And guys, trust me, physics will never be the same again. So here is the problem statement. A heavy bead of mass M is placed on a uh, rigid smooth massless rod of uh, length L. Uh, the bead is placed at the midpoint of the rod in uniform gravity. The system is released from horizontal position as shown at t equal to zero. Find uh, the angular velocity and angular ang uh, acceleration of rod as a function of time and uh, time after which the rod will hit the vertical wall. So its idea uh, has come from one of the pathfinder problem and i modified it uh, completely from there so concept wise we can see uh, since the rod is massless therefore the net force and net torque uh, on the rod must be zero so you can see here as this bead will uh, try to slide uh, it should exert a normal uh, reaction and if that normal is present on this rod uh, so that will uh, give some torque and due to which some angular acceleration uh, will be there now but here uh, one key thing is if you see if there exists a normal reaction we cannot uh, say torque is zero and on massless body since its moment of inertia will be zero the torque must be zero therefore we can say definitely the rod will move in such a way that there uh, there should not be any normal reaction between the bead and the rod this is how it will be and in that case we can say this bead will be just uh, falling vertically down that is what i have uh, shown here and I have written normal reaction between rod and bead will be zero. The bead will be in free fall and will be moving vertically down with acceleration of G. So if that is the case here, so at any time T, let's say this angle is uh, theta here, uh, the angle rotated by the rod. So this distance must be half GT square and this is X naught which is given as L by 2 in the problem. So tan theta I can directly write half GT square divided by X naught and x naught value if i substitute half gets cancelled we get gt square by l now if i differentiate this uh, i'll be getting sec square theta d theta by dt and this will become 2 gt by l so d theta by dt is the omega of rod so which i can write as a 2 gt by l and the sec square theta i can write 1 plus tan square theta and i can substitute the value of tan uh, theta as gt square by l on simplification i'll be getting this omega rod as 2 glt by l square plus g square t to the power 4 after this we can further differentiate this uh, to get uh, angular acceleration of rod so guys you can see here it's a massless body still it is having angular acceleration and it is uh, having angular velocity so uh, only condition for massless body is the force and uh, the torque must be zero so I'm not showing the exact calculation here because it's a complicated function, but they might ask you in some other situation. So directly we can write this uh, omega rod here. We can write this omega rod as uh, uh, d, omega, d by dt of omega rod for alpha rod and we will be obtaining that function. Anyways, let's go to the second part. We have to find out the time after which rod will hit the vertical wall. That means rod is going to cover angle of pi by 2. So till the time the bead is present on the rod, uh, it will be moving with some angular acceleration and once this bead is leaving, uh, so whatever angular velocity this rod will have till that point, it becomes constant. So you can see here, 
till this moment there will be angular uh, acceleration in this rod angular velocity is uh, changing so cos theta value is x by l this distance is l so x by l and very nice answer will come which is 1 by 2 so theta is pi by 3 so when this angle is 60 degree uh, you can say tan theta is root 3 and I am substituting the value from uh, the previous uh, equation gt square by L you can see here so I'll be getting the time up till this moment this is the moment of t is equal to t naught when b is about to leave the contact with the rod or it is falling over uh, this uh, rod it is uh, coming out of this rod so that moment is root 3 g uh, L by g and overall root so once bead will leave the contact with the uh, rod angular velocity of rod will become constant and now this massless rod will cover rest of the 30 degree angle with a constant angular velocity of omega and we can say at t equal to t naught this omega value we have calculated earlier if i substitute the tan theta value in this and time uh, value i am going to get uh, here omega as root of root 3g by 4l so once i know this uh, omega of rod i can say the time after which rod will hit the wall so up till t equal to t naught bead was present and after that angle is pi by 6 and the corresponding omega is uh, this so theta is equal to omega t logic i can use for uh, constant omega and i'll be getting here when i substitute the value of this i get total uh, time uh, to hit the wall that is uh, tw i have written that will become root of root 3l by g that is the t naught value plus pi by 6 under root of 4l by uh, root 3g so this is going to be the answer so uh, this is a slightly easy problem only thing is many students will struggle with this uh, concept here that uh, bead will not exert any normal reaction on the rod so if that is uh, there in your mind then i think it's a easy problem so guys if you have enjoyed this uh, solution and uh, you have learned something new and uh, uh, such type of question are definitely potential candidate for j advanced type of exam so that's it in this video i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing video thank you